All right, bro, you ever get that feeling where like, you're just not sure if you're on the right path? Like you don't know if you're actually going down the right road, whether that be maybe like you're in school right now and you're not sure if you're taking the right major or maybe you want to start like a business or something or, or you have to choose a job and you're not sure which one to pick. Well, I've got a question I'm going to ask you that could literally save you years worth of time and answer that question. And it's called the billion dollar question. And what it is, is basically, if you had infinite money, okay, like AKA, you had a billion dollars, right? Because you're not gonna, the average person is not gonna spend that within their lifetime. If you had a billion dollars, you could buy all the material things you want, travel to wherever you want, help all the people you wanted to help, help ret retire your family or whatever you wanna do in terms of your friends and family, people that you know, help them out. How would your day be different than what it is now or what you're heading towards? For example, if right now you are studying to be a lawyer in school, right? If you had a billion dollars, would you actually want to be a lawyer? Or would you want to go do something else? Or let's say you're starting a business, like you're going online, like I am, you're starting an online business and you're about to start like a drop shipping business or a social media marketing agency or something like that. Would you actually want to continue to work on that business if you had a billion dollars? And the reason why this question is so powerful is because it's an indicator of where you should be heading and where you shouldn't be heading. Because if your answer to those questions is no, if the major that you're trying to go after, the career you're trying to go after, or that job or that business, whatever kind of work you're trying to do, if it doesn't, if there isn't a yes to the billion dollar question, then basically you're on the wrong path. <laughs> you're basically on the wrong path. So for my example, like a few years ago, okay, I was in college. And I was, well, it was community college. It wasn't like a university or anything like that. Uh, but I was basically in there and I was working uh, towards like computer programming, computer networking. And I was working, I was like, dude, bro, like, is this really like my path? Is this really the path I want to go down? Because like, in my mind, I can be successful at anything, but I, it's hard because I want to actually make sure it's the right thing. And so I was like, is this really the path I want to go down? And, you know, I did uh, like a couple semesters with it and I just pictured my future. Like, what would my future be like? And I really just thought of it. And I was like, no, this isn't it, bro. This is not it. I just didn't have the right feeling with it. Now, at the time, I didn't understand the billion dollar question. And so if I had, it would have made it much more clear to me, but I didn't have it at the time. And so from there, I moved on to, I was like, all right, well, I want to do like more of my own thing, like entrepreneurship, you know, have your own business or whatever. So then I started doing like real estate. I started to make some sales in like real estate. And then the same thing came up, that same feeling. And I was like, I just feel like this isn't it, bro. Like this isn't the right thing. And from there, I moved on to trying like online business stuff uh, because I realized, hey, with online business, you know, you can travel the world, you can work from anywhere you want to work, all this kind of stuff. And it's like such an amazing like way of living that I really like aspired to and desired to live. And I got into what's called like Amazon FBA and drop shipping, which if you don't know, that's basically where you go and you like buy products from China and then you package them up, white label them and then resell them like under your own brand in the United States. Basically like how literally every product you have is <laughs> sourced out of China and sold in the United States. And so I started to do that too. And I like, I made some sales and I was like, again, that same feeling came. I was like, no, this isn't it, bro. This isn't it. And all this time, all those years that I was spending trying all these different things, you know, from, from that point, And then like also working my nine to five job, which was like in the trades doing like you know, working on houses, which is like really hard labor, hard work. And this whole time, I just didn't understand this question, this one question, which was like, if you had a billion dollars, if you didn't need to work another day in your life, what would you be spending your time doing? And so for me, by asking that question, I've actually found that thing, at least I, I believe I have for, for this point in my life, which is basically what I'm doing now, right? Which is like YouTube, it's doing the coaching, it's like focusing in on my self-improvement and sharing what I learned with other people. I would want to do that even if I had like a billion dollars, even if I had just unlimited money, this is what I would want to be doing. And so when you find that thing, what's so awesome about it is like, yeah, the money is important. The money is important, but you just enjoy your day so much more. Like I enjoy my day so much more than, you know, trying to fit myself into a, a box that I don't belong in, you know, whether that be in school or whether that be with a nine to five job that you're not really designed, you know, to be in or that you don't feel really fits you along your journey. And I'm not saying that you can't temporarily do these things because they're all stepping stones to get to where you want to go, but you can skip a lot of the trial and error that I went through by asking yourself this question. And it's just a really simple question. It's just like, sit down and just think about to yourself, 
you know, if I had a billion dollars, if I had all the money to buy all the material things I wanted to travel, you know, to retire my, my family or to help them out in some way, what would I want to do? Because you might say to yourself, oh, well, bro, I would just want to drive around in a Lambo all day, you know, go up and down the streets and just travel and like go and party and stuff like that. But the reality is human beings are designed to like contribute and like to work on some sort of project and to have goals, right? Without goals, you're going to basically be depressed. You're going to be depressed. You're not going to, you're not going to feel good at all. And so you're going to need to work like sitting on the beach, you know, drinking margaritas is like that gets old pretty quickly. And I think anybody you ask who's done that lifestyle can tell you that. I mean, I just went last year, I went on like a, a quick trip, a few week trip, like over to Thailand, just to kind of experience like, what would it be like, you know, if I was like that whole digital nomad lifestyle where you're just like traveling around to different countries and stuff while working from your laptop. And while it was great and I did have a lot of fun and like the beaches and the parties and everything were great. What I realized was like, for me, I get most of my joy and stuff from actually just like working, like just like doing something that I, I feel like I'm having an impact on other people with. And so for you, I would just ask yourself that question, like what would I do if I had a billion dollars? How would my life change if I had a billion dollars? And then from that point, when you find the answer, you want to try to make your day as close to that as possible. For example, right now, if literally right now, if you were to give me a billion dollars, my life would not change that much. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't have the stress of like trying to pay like bills or like worrying about any like type of debt or like cars or anything breaking down, shit like that. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about like, my parents or, you know, helping out like my brothers or our cousins or anything like that, or my girlfriend or whatever. But at the same time, not much would change in terms of what I like to do because I've set up my day literally almost exactly how it would be if I had a billion dollars. The only thing, and like, like I said, the only thing that really changed maybe be like location. So like maybe I'd move somewhere a little bit warmer cause like New England freaking sucks for basically six months out of the year, <laughs> eight months out of the year. You know, I'd maybe move somewhere a little bit warmer but like my day-to-day -day routine, like making these videos, doing the coaching that I do, um, going to the gym, working on martial arts, like reading, learning, continuing to learn, none of that shit would change. And so I've kind of answered that question, which is like, would your life change? How much would your life change if you had a billion dollars right now? And, and the less your life changes with that answer, the closer you are to living in alignment with your purpose, in, in my opinion. And so, yeah, just ask yourself that question. Like, you know, right now, like if you were like me where I was in school and like you're doing some major and working towards some career, like, would you really want to do this? Like, would you actually want to continue down this path if you didn't need the money? If you just didn't have to work another day in your life, would you actually follow this path? Because if the answer is no, you're studying the wrong thing. You know, you're headed towards the wrong career. And that could just be because society has influenced you to go down this path or your parents have pushed you in this direction or just because you were chasing it because of the money. But what I realized is if you chase something just for the money, again, it's very unlikely you're gonna make it to the top of the distribution because most people in terms of the competition, if I am doing, let's just say, let's go back to the example of me being in college, right? If I'm in college and I'm studying computer programming and I, I just don't really like it, like I either hate it or it's just kind of meh, I'm not really interested on it. I'm not like, yeah, this is something I like. It's unlikely that I'm going to be successful in the sense of, yeah, maybe I'll be able to scrape by making a living, but I'm not going to really like what I'm doing. And I'm not going to get to the point where I'm making the money I want to make to really have like a life changing wealth, right? Because think about it. There's some other guy who really enjoys programming, who actually likes it, who like, it like lights him up. You know what I mean? Like it, his interest is like, wow, like I freaking love this shit. And so he goes home and he studies it, right? He's home studying. He's home putting in all this extra work and thinking about it. Whereas I'm home doing something completely different, you know, whether that be like, you know, reading a, a different type of book or whether that be on Netflix or whether that just be going out and partying, he's putting in all this extra time over here. And so who the heck do you think is going to actually win? Who do you think is going to actually be more successful in that field if you're side by side? It's obviously the person who is interested in that. And I bet if you were to ask that guy, you know, hey, if you somehow had unlimited money, you never had to work again. You had a billion dollars. Would you actually continue to be to do programming like would you actually be interested in it and he would probably say yes and so for you you have to find that thing it's so important you find that thing where you ask yourself yo would I still be doing this if I had a billion dollars if I never had to work a day again in my life would I actually be interested in pursuing this path and, and that it doesn't matter what it is it could be again like a career it could be business it could be online business it doesn't really matter but the, that's the key is to find the answer to that question 
Now, a lot of us will have trouble finding the answer to that question because it is a kind of a big question to ask, right? Like you may not have really had much experience in life. And so you might not know the answer. Like for me, I've gone through so many different jobs. I've tried a whole bunch of different businesses and stuff like that. But I guess at the end of the day, you're going to have to go out and maybe get some experience, but also just kind of picture your life when you ask that question. If you could choose anything, if you could have your day set up any way you wanted, and you could literally choose anything in terms of your work, in terms of your schedule and all this kind of stuff, how would that look? You know, maybe even write a description, like go find somewhere where you can sit down in like a quiet place where you're not going to be like disrupted or distracted, you know, leave your phone, just take a notebook and a pen and just go out into like either the woods or some quiet place that you're not going to be disturbed and just write down a description of what your day would look like including like the work that you would be doing, obviously, because we already discussed, like, we're not going to just be sitting around or just traveling and partying because that's just not, that's not really following your purpose or making an impact. You know what I mean? And you're going to get bored of that anyway. So think about like, what kind of work would you be doing? What would you like to be learning about? What would you like to be studying about if money was not even an issue? It was just not even an issue. Like you just didn't even have to think about it. You just had so much money that it was just never going to be a concern, a concern ever again in your life. Right. Because so many of us, especially too, like if you grew up more in like lower middle class, you know, middle class, lower middle class, or like poor, like in poverty, you grow up with like this scarcity mindset, right? Which is basically, you're always like trying to look for money, you know what I mean? And you're always following the path that seems the most secure in terms of money. And while it is important that you make enough money to survive, when you're thinking about going beyond that point in terms of pursuing a career or business, it's important to really consider what you have a genuine interest in and what you would actually like to do because believe it or not, I believe that like we all have different abilities and skills and you know, different gifts that we've been given. And so if you can align yourself to where you're not thinking about money and you just say, Hey, without money being in the picture, what would my life look like? Like, how would I want this to play out? I think you're actually setting yourself up for a more long-term success because instead of, you know, following this thing where it's like, I'm just going after the money and then you quit whatever you were doing, and then go pursue something else. Instead, what you do is from the very beginning, you're just aligned with what you should be doing. And yeah, again, just simple way to do that is just ask yourself, how would my life change right now if I had a billion dollars? If the answer is I would be quitting my job or I'd be quitting this major or I wouldn't be doing you know anything anywhere near similar to like the business I'm doing right now, then I think that you need to change your life and try to change it up fast because you are following the wrong direction. So that's just a mindset shift that I just wanted to share with you, bro, because again, for me, it just took me years to kind of like figure this out. So hopefully that was useful to you. You know, if you want to um, get my coaching down in the uh, description, check that out because I, you know, I can help you basically in a whole bunch of different arenas of self-improvement, whether that be your physique mindset, you know, getting hold of your freaking internet addiction, all that kind of stuff, dopamine detox. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video and I'll see you. Peace.